This video describes how to utilize a feature that is simulating ad hoc talk group adding without actually having ad hoc group features on an HD1. I'm going to assume that everybody already knows how to add digital contacts and, and create channels in the CPS software for their HD1. And I'm going to kind of start on that at that point. What you'll do is you'll create a digital contact on the HD1 in the CPS that is high up as it can be. This will make it easier to, to the functionality will be easier. Create it up in the 990 something range. I happen to create mine in slot 998. Uh, there's a thousand digital contacts in my HD1. And then after you do that, you'll create a channel. Also create it as high in the in the slots of digital of channels as you can. Mine holds 3,000 channels, so I created it all the way up, I think, 2,999, um, I believe, slot. It might have been 2,998 but it's at the very top of the uh, of the slots for dig for the channels. This also makes functionality better. Uh, don't forget to add this channel to the zones, the zone or zones that you use so that you can get to it. It will be necessary to access this channel during operation. So here it goes. You've created the digital contact that is called ad hoc. You can just make up a, a Dig, uh, digital contact or a talk group number to start with when you create it in a CPS. You'll also call the digital channel ad hoc or something that you know what it is. It can be temporary, the word temporary, it can be temporary talk group, it can be whatever you want to call it as long as you know that it is the, um, the, the location that you're going to temporarily put talk groups in. Sorry, I'm on talk group. 101 right now and uh, didn't think it'd be any activity but there was but that actually just shows you that I'm currently logged in to TGIF on talk group 101 so let's start by pressing the menu button and you're gonna press it once activates the screen second time it brings up the menu scroll down to message I'm sorry scroll down to contacts press the menu button press the menu button again to select contacts then I'm going to use the channel select button to go backwards. And this is why you want to use a, a really high um, number, a slot number for your digital contact. And you can see the last time I used it, it was talk group 111. I'm going to change it to 777, which is the scan all talk groups with TGIF network. That way you'll, you'll actually hear it go active as soon as I finish the procedure. Okay. Press menu to select the ID number. Use the channel select knob to back over what's there. The exit button erases it. I'm going to enter 777 and press the menu button to confirm it. As you see, it's now changed. That particular digital contact is changed to 777. I'm going to keep hitting exit till I back all the way out. Now, I'm going to change the channel selection knob until I get to the ad hoc channel selection. Now, I haven't keyed it up yet, so I haven't activated 777. But here goes. Hey, not over. As you can see, I have yeah, I, find this like I have on the fly changed my talk group number to something other than I was on and something that was not already a program channel, simulating ad hoc group entry like an Anytone. It's not ad hoc in, uh, group entry, but it, it is a very easy way to add that functionality. I hope you have enjoyed the content. I know that the uh, uh, I am no um, Steven Spielberg, so uh, I apologize for that, but I hope the content has been useful. Thank you.